a light left on, but ain't nobody there. So it was fairly recent. Thank you for asking, by the way. It's fairly recent. Um, just uh, it, I think, definitely gives you. Uh, uh, I mean, I've done some crazy things in my life. Not crazy, crazy things, but I've, you know, I've had experiences, and you know, I think being uh, uh, a number count in a pandemic is a very interesting thing to be a part of because there are so many people that are, but there's so many people that aren't, and there's so many people that don't know. Um, during the time when I was sick, I released my, uh, my final song that I released in 2020, which is, uh, called Fade. Um, and seeing the recognition that that got and the plays that it got and the amount of people that have shown love about it. With me that I last, yeah, yeah, all my tears just not enough to heal the lies. Cause my suffering is worse than if I die. So uh, Black Suburbia is a, a collective of uh, artists. We all grew up in the suburban areas of New Jersey. Um, it consists of a, a couple artists, including myself and Miles Nobody, collaborative projects like Beautiful Scumbags, Momo to God, 5D Girl, um, and a, a number of, of different uh, artists uh, that uh, grew up here in the suburbs and, you know, wanted to make music that, you know, was sort of an accumulation of everything that we love. For me specifically, it was sort of the avenue of taking the stories that we do hear here, the lyrical mel the lyrical stories that we hear, such as, you know, popular things like Springsteen and stuff like that, but then sort of taking those elements and, you know, not trying to mimic but sort of redefine it for the music that's for the generation now um and one of those you know genres of music is hip-hop and r&b and 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 pop music and i think all those things have gotten really influential and really popular over time i mean black artists and, and black women uh have really been on the up as far as the the talent pool of of, of uh you know pop culture right now is a joke, yeah. to know you I've tried my best to you know not be a afraid of my failures and be proud of my triumphs and understand that my failures are my lessons and that's sort of why a song like fade or you know the music that I try to come up with is so uh, it's so important to me, the artistry that I, that I come up, that I try to do the screenplay, it's the, the, the stories that I try to tell are so important to me because that's, those are the best parts. And I think they're the parts that most people wish they didn't have to go through because I think we live in a society where some people think that like going through that kind of stuff is sort of like a waste of your time, but nothing is a waste of your time. There's nothing is a waste of your time. Your failures are not a waste of your time. Your successes are, we all know are not a waste of your time. But if you only had successes your whole life, it wouldn't feel that good. And I think that's why a song like Fade is, is resonating with people so much. Um, because I, and it's crazy because the song literally came out the week, the day that I found out that I was sick with COVID. Um, so when you sort of have all of that going on, and you're sort of asking yourself all these questions, why, 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 why? You know, I've, what I've learned is that when you ask yourself a question like why so many times, that means you're in a state where any answer that you're going to get back is not going to be good enough for you. And, you know, that's the sort of lessons that I try to keep in my, in my music. You know, it's answering those who, what, when, where, how, and, and then sort of like accepting the why that comes with all of those answers as opposed to begging for an answer that I'm not necessarily going to get. And that sometimes it's not the answer that it's, we can't get the answer that we want. We, we need the answer that we need. And, and that's really what, what is the best, I think the best storytelling and the best music sort of comes from and stems from.